Your cooperation in this guard will be highly appreciated. Hey everyone, thanks for coming along. I'm gonna pull some eBay orders. Hope you're doing well. I just actually got off my day job, which is teaching. We had a two hour delay today, so I've kind of been thrown off my schedule and the students were thrown off. So, so I'm gonna pull some orders here and we will see what we got. All right, here we go. So we have these truly wireless, perfectly simple earbuds, Skull Candy. I bought uh, both of these for like a buck and sold this one for 15 bucks. It's something like that. So, all right. And actually, around that same place, this is what's interesting. I remember this. I'm going to grab it and pull it out slowly for you. Check this out. Old school David Copperfield program from back in the 80s. I mean, this, this is some good stuff. So set this stuff down so I can grab the others. How are you doing today, by the way? Like I said, after getting back from school, I, my schedule's just completely thrown off. Uh, I don't know about you. Do you buy a lot of different hats? Because uh, we have two full boxes of hats right now. And it is... It's almost crazy. Let's see. We're looking for a Napa hat. Napa know-how. Napa know-how. Know Remember those commercials? I was a big NASCAR fan back in the day. Michael Waltrip. Here it is. Michael Waltrip. He was my favorite because growing up, I was an Earnhardt fan. As an Earnhardt fan, I, I watched the race that he died. Uh, if you're a NASCAR fan, did you? Were you at that race? I met a couple of people at Yard Salon who said they were uh, actually at that race. Michael Waltrip became a favorite because of the fact that he won the race where Earnhardt died. And I thought he was a generally a nice guy. He's a Harley Quinn boy. Then I sold this for... Let's see, what's Kane doing in there? Get this, the last video, we sold one of those yesteryear mugs. We finally sold our last one. Finally sold this last ever fresh yesteryear mug. So that's kind of nice. And then we got some baby shoes we're looking for. Always gotta love the baby shoes. Wait a minute, let's see. Is it this easy? Vintage buckle, then there's jeans, velvet, 3.5. I think this is it. Now that. All right, so our yesteryear mug we sold. Uh, 1992 made in China, but this brand we sold this for $17. So, again, we've sold these for me anywhere between 10 and 20. We had like six of these things, and this is the last one. I'm kind of sad to see it go because we were making some good money off these where we bought paid for a dollar a piece. This Harley Quinn belt buckle, the Bio World. This is again, we got a lot, a bunch of different hot topic type items, and this is cool. Tim bought these, and they're finally paying off. These shoes sit there forever. But there's these little cute baby shoes. They're like three and a half. Elephantin. I don't know anything about them. But I remember her looking at them and being like, you know, those are kind of cool. David Copperfield. We spent probably a quarter on that. I think he ended up paying seven bucks. So even though it wasn't like a ton for uh, David, he still. The Michael Walter Pat went for ten as well. Check this out though. Going back to David Copperfield, because this was a note. And let me know if you've ever gotten a note like this. It was an international sale, and it said, Please pack the book properly in a double layer cardboard sleeve to avoid bins, and in a strong box or envelope to avoid any damage during shipping and rough house handling. I'm on a tour, and I will request that you please send me a picture of the package with the tracking number after shipping. So I guess he's wanting to do that because, hey, look, I'm try. I just want to make sure that it's getting where, and I have proof of where it is. Your cooperation in this guard will be highly appreciated, so we better make sure we cooperate. And we, we usually try to pack our things pretty well anyways, but it just came in. We have another thing that just came in. It was a thing that was taking us forever to sell, but it was an old Fitbit, probably a little bit out of date. And uh, so most people, oh, right here it is. Spent a couple dollars on it and now we got it for 25, so that's kind of cool. And a charger. So sorry, I had to take a break. Um, I, I got cold down here in our basement. So I went and grabbed a hoodie. And then I, then I realized I hadn't ate dinner yet. So it's time to go back. So it's a little darker now. Just look at We got three more things to pull. So we're going to go pull a sweatshirt. A Lady Gaga sweatshirt. We got this Lady Gaga about a year and a half ago. Actually, it'll probably in May, it'll be like two years uh, from then. But we went to Goodwill and saw there was a bunch of band t-shirts. and Like a Lady Gaga, Paul McCartney, The Weeknd. And all of these tons of uh, band t-shirts i mean hundred uh, like we probably spent five hundred dollars and we went around and realized they were at every single goodwill and we went around i think there's probably about four or five goodwills in our area so it's really the only thrift store uh, that we have there's a couple of probably small time ones come back here i found a textbook check this out we buy these textbooks all the time we sold we tend to buy textbooks a lot because uh, some of them are pretty worthless but textbooks are expensive a lot of people like to buy uh, old versions you know where they might change some things in there and they're willing to take a risk i bought a couple of textbooks before that weren't worth the risk because there's too much missing all right so this is a invicta watch i did a video oops hit the glare i did a video on this thing here and it's really nice watch i actually thought about keeping this thing if you get online and try to find watches they're kind of difficult to look up 
because there's so many different kinds and I actually had a hard time trying to list this one because I just had to go with my gut and it looked like ones that were a lot like this you know there's so many different variants in these things so this one ended up selling for and it sold for 75 dollars here's that textbook just so you see it 13th edition I don't even know where they are 13th edition this one says 7th edition all right well I better I know we have two of those so we better go check that let's go check that real quick before uh we we ship it out because if she gets the wrong one that will be a mistake on our part I, i'm pretty sure we had two different editions of that thing nope 13th edition that will be something i have to email her about and so we can email her and let her know hey this is a more updated version maybe it's what she wants but if she wants to i guess we'll have to cancel her award say she doesn't want it after all you know it's the exact same book oh wait a minute i got the wrong book we must have some more books back there i need because physical examination health assessment this is medical surgery and nursing I went back and I had to double check. This is the book. They all look the same. I mean, the colors were the same. It threw me off. You have physical examination and health assessment, seventh edition. So here it is. But look at it. Didn't that book look the same as the one I just showed you? So it kind of threw me off. So we sold that for nine bucks, ten bucks. And then I found the Lady Gay Gay shirt. I had, I t I had to text Jen. To, she knew she knows where all the clothes are. We kind of put a clothes in a little bit of a different spot sometimes. And so. Uh, we sold the Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga shirt. We sold it for $25. So go Lady Gaga. Uh, I don't have a good poker face. I'm in a good romance. Let's see. Okay, that's all the Lady Gaga songs I know. Is that more than you know? And then finally, this last thing I got here, I thought was kind of cool. I found this a long time ago. I probably got it for a quarter. It's an old NASCAR duffel bag. I know it's in from the 2000, or excuse me, the nine, late 1990s. Cause that was their logo then and it's changed a lot and there's really not much about it there's a receipt of mine oh no that's kind of cool so maybe it's not nice this kind of tells me that it might be 2000s it's april 18 2004 because there's stickers in it i didn't really take pictures should i send that with them because that's kind of cool ah uh, we could we'll give it to them and that's all for five dollars overall at the end of the day that puts our total about 150 dollars we're actually going to take a minute to list of things here's my question for you do you like to list by your phone or you prefer the computer because i'm a computer guy i find it so much fast i create listings on my computer and then i will go take pictures with my phone and i like that a lot better mid-century modern cups i looked at it and i have no idea how to list it. look this up take my picture of my phone and see what google tells me and if you list it all you know what i'm doing so I'm not, I'm kind of preaching to the choir here. Dang, vintage new Fort Loma tumbler drinking glasses. See, this is why I'm married a really smart vintage person. It was totally the reason we got married. So it looks like there's no soul. So not a great start. So a set 19 vintage proper. Ooh, at least probably weren't a great one. There's a set of two for six bucks, 19 of them for 14. Don't know that that was a great one. I thought if it was a sold, that'd be a heck of a time. But. Uh, so maybe maybe we can put those up. There's about six of them, so we could probably put all those up for and make our money back. So the next thing we got here is old books. We since we live in the state of Virginia, this is a tip for you. And you're not gonna find a bunch of books about Virginia in Ohio. You might find some, but very rarely. But I do know that state history books for us do very well. And this one is. Uh, there's no comps for that either. We are on fire tonight, guys. We are. This is a 1957 11th grade public school textbook. That's some old school stuff. Literally old school. It's way too late for coffee. It's almost nine o'clock here. A 10:49 for the tech, a vintage textbook. Not bad. We'll create a listing for it and just kind of go with that. Captain Stanton's River. This looks like Red Hill. Okay, so what this is, uh, this is a picture of Patrick Henry's home from uh, before the Revolutionary War and after. So Captain Stanton's River, I don't know what this looks about. 1968. So Captain Stanton's River. Okay, so camera died. Always check your camera battery. Before. Uh, we're good. We're back. Captain Stanton's River. Here we go. Hey, that is a score. It's Worthpedia, $39. That is an excellent book. Thank you, Virginia History. That's what I'm talking about. So, hoo is what is that what Al, was that Al Pacino who said hoo I made a huge mistake one time on a, a tea can from like the probably 30s or 40s. And I looked at it, laughed at it, scoffed. Yeah, I didn't think it would be worth anything. Amateur reseller in me. And I realized that I'd made a big mistake because it was worth like 50 bucks. So when I got here to this place, I just said, I cannot let these cans go. I don't know. Klingons, reliable, pure lard. So we're going to look this thing up. $10 on a ton of vintage cans. So I think I did pretty well. Uh, there's got to be one or two of them. The chip can was worth 15 The other one was probably about $10 maybe. So it looks like it depends on the brand of lard. 
and I'm looking at the condition of some of these things and they don't seem to be in too I don't I mean this one right here and I, I don't know what makes some valuable maybe you could share that would you comment below what makes cans valuable besides their vintageness uh, because I'm looking at this one here and this goes for 80 bucks and it is not good condition this is a great falls meat pure life so what exactly about this Kenyon's one brand so this middle pan okay so this one was missing a handle for $15 now I'm gonna clean it up it's like on the top where it's dirty this one's dirty, but this one does have the handle so the one I just found was missing it so I don't know with a handle maybe 20 bucks 25 so since I can't find any other comps I'll, I'll go with that these cans are in terrible condition look at these things they are in terrible condition so and I don't even know if I could pull them apart let's see there's uh, a reseller this is pork brains that's disgusting no one said it looks like these cans have been sitting out there forever i don't know um there's no tops to any of them they've been sitting out but let's look up let's look them up and see what they go for and i'm going to put it to you i'm going to leave these here and i'm not going to list them until i get word from my viewers should i keep these or should i because pork brains that's disgusting i apologize if i offend someone I used to work at uh, Piggly Wiggly, and a man would come in there every Saturday morning, uh, probably around eight o'clock, and he would buy pork brains. So, uh, two, and he said he scrambled them up. Swift selected pork brains, five pound can, five pounds of pork brains. That's disgusting. But he would fry them up and cook them. Oh, this is filthy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to offend anyone. If you like that stuff, you do you. You go for it. Me, I'm not. <laughs> no, thank you. And I'll eat just about anything. And probably if you didn't tell me and let me eat it first, I probably would try it. But do not. If you have me over for dinner, do not. I don't know why you would invite me over for dinner. But if you ever have me over, do not tell me I'm going to eat pork brand. In some countries, it's very rude to not eat what they're serving. In America, I, like I can't even get my kids to eat things I want them to eat. So don't judge me. Swiss, there you have it. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. Check this out. Now, mine is in worse condition. No lid. Best offer. It's at $45. Two, $2.99 standard shipping. Who the heck got away with that? So we're going to look at the condition of this can. Okay, it's got rust. It's clean. Yeah. So water definitely hadn't damaged that one too much. So that was $45 best offer. So let's see something. I'm gonna put this to the viewers because I need your input here. I have no idea. Oh, this is a different one. This one's, I mean, veal brain. Oh, God, it's nasty. Veal brains are, that one, I probably could, if there's a way to clean off the rest, I bet you I could take my daughter's wipes and just clean that up, right? Can we agree that the bottom one is washed? What do you think? These are more veal cans too. No lids, this one's a little dent up take pictures of it so we don't have just pork brains we have veal brains and they're because i guess because they've been wedged together they've been they're probably in better condition it's definitely not as good a condition as the one you can't really see too well in there they are not stuck together and they're not as bad i think this one i'm kind of wondering about would you sell that i mean i'll try to clean it up and see what it is maybe i'll go get some wipes right now i don't find a veal brains one so that might be pretty well that's 50 dollars for a with the top armor's pork brains 65 is still that's what came up swifts i just swifts right i think it could work in our favor i can't find any right i might what i might do is put those veal brands that's one two three i might actually put those at 50 bucks a piece because they're really not out there and just see what happens just take a shot because they're not any good without lids i'm probably going to put those up for 30 dollars a piece i mean that's about 210 dollars on 10 dollars worth of can that's pretty awesome and same old school maxwell house like i said i grabbed every single one of these cans and put them in there so that's a lot of tin cans a lot of collectors love these things because you just don't find anywhere it's all plastic right we're looking at 300 dollars in vintage cans that is incredible I'm pretty excited about that. I had that $40 book uh, on there. And one other thing, and I want to show you this before we go, but these uh, magazines, these Life magazines, I saw them all. I didn't know the price of all the magazines. And so, <laughs> Jen, God, I love her. She um, is so funny because she's she's so smart and she's so quiet and meek. I saw the magazines and I was like, I don't want it to back up on. On the wall, I didn't see it. It was listed three magazines for a dollar. Now, it was a ton of them. It was like 60. I counted them up. They said, count them up. How much are they? She's like, make an offer. And so I, 
I don't know, but I won't. I, I never make the first offer. So she said, I'll take 50 bucks for the bunch. Okay. If I could sell them for a dollar a piece, I got my money back, which their magazines are always more than that. <laughs> Jen's like, they're three for a dollar. We ended up walking away, do the math for like 20 bucks with these magazines. Both me and the lady who was debating it, if it wasn't for Jen being there and saying, hey guys, that math's not right, <laughs> we would have spent so much more and probably taken a lot more. So we spent $20 on those. And I don't know, all of them are not valuable, but this box of magazines and i've already listed some of them but you see there are plenty of old ones here my mailer on the astronauts green beret uh, i don't know who that is princess anne at 21. i just saw a picture that's princess anne look i'm not into the royal family i just saw a picture of princess anne today she was a looker when she's 21 she she's aged well she's aged well that's all i want to say deadly gamesman so I got all these magazines for 20 bucks. I'm going to just go through them. Easy lists. Life Pole of Science and Sex. Um, probably about, oh, the Suicide Squad. Let's find them in. Johnny Cash. Guys, it has been a pleasure. I hope you had a good time. Thanks for watching again. I hope you have a great night and see you next time. Bye.